Uh, but under Obote, especially his first time in power, most of the time it didn't last, this my being out of favor. As then I would get in, invited to the White House and have tea with him, uh, etc. So we had this uh, very intriguing experience of up, uh, up and down. Uh, uh, depending upon whether I'd criticized him or not. But he treated me virtually as a fellow Ugandan. That, uh, that w went well, except uh, for one occasion yeah, uh, where he locked up the editor of a magazine, very similar in type to this magazine. This just happens to be here. This one is a South African magazine. Um, there's, a magazine in Uganda called um, uh, not Thinker but Transition, Transition, Transition magazine. So, uh, so he locked up the the editor of the magazine, uh, uh, and uh, he also uh, uh, locked up El Abu Mayanja, who was a distinguished lawyer in Uganda, and because Abu Mayanja had written a letter to Transition saying judges were being appointed on, tri on a tribal basis, that there was uh, tribal prejudice in uh, appointment to the judiciary. Yeah. So he was locked up then, uh, and uh, uh, Rajat Niyogi, the editor, was also locked up. Uh, so I, sh I issued a statement of protest, you see. Uh, uh, and it was circulated. People so thought that I, uh, had really gone too far. Makerere people said, "This is going to be historic." <laughs> but, but in 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 fact, at first it worked out very well uh, because although the news and the radio that night uh, was discussing a part of this imprisonment uh, and my letter of protest. Uh, uh, in, in general, it seemed things were not too bad. Uh, but then I got an invitation to go to Parliament uh, uh, from him to go to Parliament on a particular day, at a particular time, meaning no, not to sit in parliamentary seat, but to be available in Parliament. Uh, and so I knew that was a command performance. If the head of state says you are to be in parliament by such and such a time, you better be. Uh, so I arranged for someone to do, give my lecture to my class, and then I went to, to, to parliament. Then it, it turned out he wanted to give a lecture which would include uh, um, more or less a, a denunciation of, of me and attack on me. That's the only time where he's he started reciting other things I had said before, because I, on one occasion I had said, in Uganda, people when they see a number of soldiers coming down the road, ordinary citizens, citizens shake in their boots because they don't know what treatment they would be given by these soldiers. And at that time I'd just come back from uh, Ghana, and so there's a major contrast at that time to the soldiers in Ghana, you see, uh, where if they walk around the street and there are citizens there, they're just soldiers. Uh, nobody's terrified. They might be humiliated by them. Uh, 